The woman begins calming down, but then suddenly she lets out one final almighty yell. Nah, nah. This time it has the force to move objects in the store as well. No fucking way, that's fake. Come on. That didn't happen, right? Hey, what's up everyone? Vortex here and welcome back to another reaction video. Guys, in today's video, we're gonna react to 11 mysterious videos that cannot be explained. Uh, we've had on this channel a lot of uh, ghosts and paranormal activity, uh, possessed people, uh, a lot of stuff, right? And we've always managed to explain most of them, you know, to find an explanation and a reasonable uh, explanation behind those videos but today we're gonna react to this one and apparently all these videos mysterious videos they they cannot be explained and that's why i'm gonna react hopefully i can debunk them i can find an explanation i'm i'm not sure i don't know exactly uh but uh it's we're gonna see this video comes from the channel uh, i think it's slapped ham the name of the channel so uh, obviously I'm, I'm like in every video you you guys will find the link for the original video so you can go and watch it on your own if you want if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe if you want to become members of my channel just press the join button and without further ado let's watch the video all right so let's have a little bit of coffee as per usual <sighs> nice very nice okay let's uh let's start the video and let's see if we can debunk them and find an explanation for these videos Alright. How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some really creepy footage. From the last known sightings of people that mysteriously disappeared, to inexplicable road accidents and ghost sightings. Join okay. us as we count 11 mysterious videos that can't be explained. I'm, I really want to see if there's a, actually videos that cannot be explained, right? Like I always say in many, in many of my videos, I, I really want to find a video that can convince me that something is going on, right? So I'm hoping maybe this one is gonna be the one. So far, I've there's been a couple of uh, videos from this compilation that I've reacted to who were really nice, but we'll see if this one is, uh, it's better or not. On the 30th of June, 2014, 28-year-old Lars Matank and a group of friends went on a... All right, the disappearance of Lars Matank. Number 11, that's uh, what it says here in the corner, so let's see. On holiday to the seaside resort of Golden Sands in Bulgaria. During his stay, Matank got into a fight with a group of rival football fans and suffered a ruptured eardrum. He was then advised by a local doctor not to fly until his ear had fully healed and was unable to return home with his friends. Alone, Matank checked into a cheap hotel in the area. After just one night, he began to act very strangely. He sent a text message to his mother telling her that he didn't feel safe. And then All right, so, so far already, um, so this guy, he's with a bunch of friends in, this, in Bulgaria. He became weird one night. He became like really weird and scared. I think this is, in my opinion, a case of uh, really bad drugs. <laughs> but we'll see. Maybe, maybe there's a, another explanation. That she should cancel his credit card. He also told her that he was hiding from four men who were following him. <clears throat> Apparently fearing for his safety, Matank then headed to Varna Airport where the security camera captured him entering. So he said that he's followed by four men and uh, maybe someone tried to rob him because he was uh, a foreigner, right? At the same time, when you look at him here walking, he doesn't look like an, a person who's scared about... Usually when you're scared about people following you you kind of look around you know you try to see if there's anyone behind you or something like that he kind of walks like casually inside the airport but who knows we'll see yeah look how casual he walks like he has no problems in the world right i mean he did look behind now but maybe he was checking the cheek rather than looking for uh, someone following him a few minutes later, Mitang can be seen running from the airport and into the parking lot. He was then seen climbing a fence and running through a meadow and into the nearby woods. Mitang was never seen again, and it was never discovered who or what he was running from at Varna Airport. 
Okay, this is weird. So he went in with a bunch of um, bags, right? Is he gonna say anything about the luggage? It was safe or maybe there were some bombs or something inside there. And he just placed the bombs in the airport and then he disappeared. To this day, Matang's disappearance remains a mystery. Okay, so the, it, it doesn't say anything about the, the bags that he had, right? Now, um, I mean, this is just an idea that I have right now in this moment. What if this dude, he placed those something in those bags, he has something in those bags and he left them on uh, inside the airport on purpose and he ran away so he doesn't want to be found because maybe there was something dangerous. Okay, so he had a fight with uh, some football fans. His name is Lars Mitteng. Maybe he is not America. Maybe he's from another country. Maybe someone from the... In, during the fight, he did something bad. I, I don't know. This is a weird story. Again, to me, it looks like almost like a case where he did something. Either he did something bad and he was uh, hiding something really dangerous or something that people shouldn't see in those bags and he bring them to the airport and left them there and then he just escaped but where he went at this point like what happened with him or maybe he was actually followed by someone from the football uh, fans that he had the fight with maybe they followed him and they found him but it doesn't look like anyone is following him outside of the airport right so why he would be scared inside the airport and then run outside and run into the woods and disappear. Like, it doesn't really make any sense. But anyway, again, to me, the fact that he left the bags, I mean, yeah, if you try to escape, you're not going to take your bags with you, right? But uh, I think there's more to the story that we don't really uh, know about. Maybe this story is being covered and uh, a lot of the information is not given to us about this whole case, right? Uh, anyway, let's see. Let's see what's next. Hopefully... I managed to somehow explain this video in some way, even though I don't think so. <laughs> All right. This footage began surfacing around the middle of 2016. It shows a woman. Chinese woman possessed. This is the number 10, right? Okay, let's see what, what's going on. Browsing with items in a shopping mall. When an item mysteriously falls behind her, she turns. Ooh, ooh, wait, 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 wait browsing items in a shopping mall when an item mysteriously falls behind her she turns and replies okay that's weird how did that thing maybe it was just placed bad all right but it looked like it was moving uh, back and forward a little bit before it fell down okay let's see what happens with the lady places it on the shelf Maybe you shouldn't touch that one, right? I mean, she she doesn't she didn't see uh, that, that that thing was moving before it fell down, so she doesn't know that maybe it was some ghost. As soon as she replaces the item, she begins to act very strangely, almost as though an unseen force takes control of her body. Wait, before that, look look at the thing that she had in her hands when it dropped when she dropped it. It kind of moved on its own, right? As soon as she... So now it's dropped. Replaces the item, she begins... And then it rolled a little bit. But maybe it was something that was rolling inside. Maybe like a bottle or something, right? It's to act very strangely. Almost as though an unseen force takes control of her body. She drops her shopping and begins to writhe uncontrollably. After falling to the floor, two other shoppers notice the woman. As one comes to her aid, the woman lets out a guttural scream. By this time, the commotion has attracted several other shoppers. She lets out yet another scream, this one more intense than the first. Okay. The scream seemed to have the power to push the onlookers back. As the man in black attempts to restrain her, the other onlookers gather closer. The woman begins calming down, but then suddenly she lets out one final almighty yell. Nah, nah. This time it has the force to move objects in the store as well. 
No fucking way. That's fake. Come on. That didn't happen, right? Dollars caused the security camera to flicker. The other customers then helped the woman to her feet and escort her away. Ah, I don't know. That was weird. The way she moved everything with that yell. Come on. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's see. <laughs> let's see the next one because this one was a kind of weird one, to be honest. It looks fake to me, but I don't know. This mysterious footage. Alright, Ghost Escapes Hotel Room. Okay. It was recorded in 2003 from the CCTV of an unknown hotel. A member of the hotel staff is sent to investigate screams coming from room 209, which was thought to be empty at the time. As the man approaches the door, the screaming can be heard over the footage. What's going on, John? Okay. That was weird. So honestly, this dude doesn't look like security. Okay, I work in the hotels uh, here in UK, and the security they they are always uh, dressed nice, you know, like uh, with tie and everything. They don't look like a random dude from the street. So I'm not sure if this guy is actually working for security here, or maybe he's just someone who um, stays in the hotel and they want to play a prank or something like that. The voice of another member of staff can be heard advising the man to wait before entering the room as the police have been notified and are on their way. However, the man decides to enter the room anyway. Shortly after he enters, some sort of ghostly figure can be seen escape. Oh, I actually saw that. Shortly after he enters, some sort of ghostly figure can be seen escaping down the hallway before the right. hotel lights begin to flicker. It's really subtle, but you can see some something white, like a white shape moving out of the room. But I don't know, man. <laughs> this is a good. Uh, this is a good video, actually. Uh, obviously, it can be faked, right? Uh, if the guy is not uh, part of the hotel staff, but he has um, footage from the security cameras, right? So, I don't know. When the man exits the room, he appears startled. He says there was no one in the room. However, all the furniture was turned upside down, the carpet was ripped up and the shower was running. The video abruptly ends without an explanation on what was happening in room 209. Was it a ghost or just a prank? If it was a prank, then how do you explain the ghostly figure seen leaving the room? Okay, this is a weird, uh, another weird video. Honestly, I, again, it, it might be a prank, so everything can be edited, you know. Um, but if it's not, it's a really, a, a really weird one. On the 14th of October, 2000. All right, the real man in black. Okay, so we have some aliens here, right? 2009, two witnesses claimed to have seen a large triangular shaped object hovering above a hotel they were staying in at the time. The pair reported the strange occurrence to the authorities and a short time later, two mysterious men dressed in black suits visited the hotel looking for the witnesses. This footage from the lobby security camera of the hotel shows the men walking into the building. The men asked to speak to the guests that had witnessed the event, but were told by staff that they were no longer there. The staff members that spoke to the men said that they were very pale and had no eyebrows or eyelashes, and that they looked completely identical. One All right. Okay, maybe the the hotel, the staff from the hotel, the, the dude who spoke with these people, maybe he was just exaggerating a little bit, and maybe they actually they were actually like um, two real people, not. Because the way they it makes it sound is like they were aliens, right? And they look the same and pale and uh, no eyebrows and no lashes. But who knows? One female staff member even said that they looked as though both men's hair was fake, as if they were wearing wigs to cover the fact that they were bald. The staff member also claimed that both men had very large deep blue eyes and that the entire time they spoke, they never blinked once. 
If you look closely at the footage of the two men entering the hotel, you can see the man on the left appears to be having trouble keeping his feet straight as he walks. I mean, that's bad, uh, just bad camera, right? It uh, doesn't mean anything. Did the guests witness some kind of alien spacecraft above their hotel? And were these the mysterious men in black that have been reported to appear after many UFO sightings? If so, Honestly, I don't, I never heard about this. Whenever, uh, the only time I heard about Men in Black is from the movies, right? <laughs> I, I've never heard about me, people, uh, Men in Blacks coming after every sighting and uh, to check what happened, right? I, maybe it's just me. If you guys know about more of this, let me know in the comment sections. Were they top level government agents sent to assess the case or could they have been aliens looking to erase any knowledge of their existence? On the 31st of January 2013, 21-year-old Eliza Lamb dis The disappearance of Eliza Lamb, okay. ...disappeared while staying at the Cecil Hotel in downtown LA. Lamb, a student at the University of British Columbia in Vancouver, was travelling at the time of her disappearance and the alarm was raised after she failed to contact her parents the day she was scheduled to check out of the hotel. When the police failed to locate Lamb, they decided to release the video footage of an elevator security camera in the hotel in an effort to collect more information. In the footage, Lamb can be seen moving very strangely as if she's hiding from someone or something. She can be seen entering the elevator calmly before pressing several of the buttons on the panel. She then stands back and seems to wait for the doors to close. Okay, so she went inside the elevator and she started pressing all the buttons. Why? Plus her, um, the way she's uh, moving and moving her body, it looks to me like she's, uh, again, I might be wrong here, but to me, she looks like she's under drugs. And, you know, sometimes when you use drugs, you kind of feel scared. You feel like something is going on around you. Someone is following you, stuff like that, right? Suddenly, she lunges forward and looks down the hallway before standing up against the wall. She then exits the elevator before returning, pressing more buttons on the panel. I know, she, she's acting really, really weird. Almost like she's under drugs, honestly. She exits the elevator one final time and can be seen communicating with something before wandering off down the hallway. I mean, I've seen people talking to themselves, you know, even though there's no one there to they talk to. So, again, to me, it looks like she took some something or either she smoked something or she sniffed something, right? <laughs> I don't think she's, um, uh, what is called? I don't think she's, I don't know, panicked by someone there or she saw a ghost or something like that, right? When the footage was released publicly, it went viral. In the first 10 days, it received more than 3 million views and 40,000 comments on the Chinese video. I've never seen this video. I don't know where it was famous. Maybe in China. Video sharing site, Yuko. Many of the viewers said they found the footage unsettling and difficult to watch. Shortly after her disappearance, hotel guests began complaining of black, strange tasting water and low water pressure. When the maintenance staff went to investigate, they discovered the body of Eliza Lamb floating inside one of the water tanks. Holy shit, so wait. She died. She died. She didn't disappear. I thought she was she disappeared because it was the missing uh, in the tank of water. Despite a thorough police investigation, several inconsistencies of Lamb's disappearance has never been answered. 
The autopsy report deemed her death to be accidental. However, the police noted that the eight foot high tanks, which were located on the roof of the hotel, were only accessible with a key and almost impossible to enter without a ladder. Many theories have attempted to explain Lamb's disappearance. Okay, so it was a tall tank. They don't say if there was a ladder. They say it would be impossible without a ladder. So they don't say if there was a ladder nearby. It's from murder to the supernatural. Her death has even been noted for its eerie similarities to the 2005 horror film Dark Water. In the film, a mother and daughter move into a rundown apartment building with a dysfunctional elevator. Discoloured water eventually leads them to the water tank on the roof where they discover the body of a girl who's been reported missing a year earlier. To this day, the fate of Eliza Lamb remains a mystery. I mean, what would be the explanation, right? Because that's what we're watching this video. We try to find a way to, to explain what happened. So in, in this case here where she's sitting in a, she's in the elevator, right? To me, it looks like she's under some drugs or something like that. Okay. The way she's acting, but I thought she, maybe she's just uh, acting like this, but then that's it. You know, she, maybe she ran away or disappeared, but actually she's dead. She was in the tank of water that it's really tall and uh, it's as the guy said it's impossible to go inside there without a key a special key however and without a ladder as well so so who would have access to that one would be uh, people from the hotel so I mean they say it was an accident but maybe it wasn't an accident maybe someone from the hotel was following her and she got murdered I don't know this is a weird one she didn't, it wasn't an accident. I think someone inside the hotel did something to her. This mysterious video was taken on Chinese traffic accident. Okay. On a road in Qingtai, China. As the two white vans approach the intersection, something very strange happens. Suddenly, the two vans lift into the air and get pushed backwards almost. What? Wait. Just as strange happens. Suddenly, the two vans lift into the air and get pushed backwards almost as though a very strong gust of wind picks them up and shakes them out. What could have happened to these vans? What sort of strange force has the power to lift two vans into the air with such ease? Wait, why is the people there? Uh, they don't act in any sort of way. Look at these people. I mean, they don't react. Like this lady, she's crossing the street with her baby, I think. And there's no reaction from her. Maybe it's a fake one. That's why people are not reacting in any way. I mean, if you see something like this, first of all, you're going to move away, right? You're not going to uh, stand there and watch what happens. You're going to try to run, especially if you have a kid, right? First, second of all, even after the whole thing happened, nobody rushed to the cars to see if everyone is okay. So, and also, I, I not, I've noticed something uh, weird here. Take a look at this image, right? Okay, so in this uh, image here, you can see this line uh, from the marks on the street, right? That it's straight and everything. But then all of a sudden, in the next shot, this line looks curved, okay? Almost like some, like, I don't know, it's, um, how can I explain this? It's been edited and it's been edited in a wrong way. Almost like, um, you know, when you try to do like um, Photoshop and people do this uh, weird stuff where like a, a fat person, for example, uh, using Photoshop, they try to reduce um, their size of the body and you can see these curves. Uh, in the background, like all the objects in the background, they look uh, curved because of uh, how they did it. This looks a little bit like that to me. So we have a straight line here and then all of a sudden, the, this line is curved. I don't know, am, am I right? Maybe, this, uh, maybe something else happened in this uh, uh, footage here. Okay, so maybe an accident or something like that. And someone edited the video and removed something that happened there. Like maybe there was another car who hit these two um, cars here. And they edited, and, but they didn't do a very good job. Because again, you see that this line here, it's curved in this uh, 
in this scene it's straight and here it's curved and i think this is just bad editing yeah i don't think this is a real one i think this is a a fake one yeah okay i'm gonna go with that <laughs> all right let's see what's next this footage was taken from a dash cam somewhere in russia teleporting man all sure. right as the traffic is driving along, the semi-trailer suddenly begins to swerve, nearly colliding with oncoming traffic. At first, it's difficult to see why the truck swerves, but then the answer becomes apparent. A man wearing what looks to be a lab coat seems to appear out of nowhere. Several theories have attempted to explain this bizarre event. It's been suggested that the man could be a scientist from the future, who miscalculated a time travel teleportation. <laughs> okay, so... If scientists have attempted to explain what looks to be a lab, why the truck swerves. We can't really see in front of the truck if this person is right there. Maybe the fire, as the traffic is driving along the So trailers. I'm trying to see if I can find a moment where you can see someone crossing the street, right? And um so far it doesn't look like, but we don't have the whole footage. Okay. So maybe this dude he was just standing. In, in, the, in the middle of the street taken from a dash cam and, um, in Russia as the traffic is driving actually no actually you can see it okay man it's right here you can see a shape it's really really subtle but you can see a shape right here I, if I can during the editing I'm gonna make it bigger so you guys can see but you can see there's someone here okay it's nobody appeared okay this dude was already crossing and maybe standing in the middle of the road driving along the semi-trailer yeah. suddenly begins to and uh yeah you can see him here and uh, the truck was trying to avoid him yeah swerve nearly colliding with oncoming yeah he was he didn't appear out of nowhere he was just standing there yeah there's no teleporting people here okay whatever let's go to the to the next scene we fix this one guys no worries this mysterious video right. was posted Face in abandoned house. This is the number four, right? Okay, in let's 2014, see. 2014 by a man known only as Ted, who claims to have been a police officer since 1983. After responding to a domestic disturbance in Delray, Detroit, Ted says he heard some strange noises coming from a neighboring house, so he decided to take a closer look. As he approaches the house, which appears to be burnt out and abandoned, the officer pans the camera towards an old newspaper clipping before calling out to see if anyone's inside. <laughs> Suddenly, a ghoulish face appears in the upstairs window before disappearing into the darkness. I mean, I don't see any, anything ghoulish. Maybe it was just a person there. It's later revealed in the video that the article that the police officer found was about a woman named Rose Varez, who was known as the Witch of Del Rey. Varez was thought to have murdered up to 12 men in the 1930s, however her neighbours were too scared to testify against her because they believed she had supernatural powers that could make their children sick. Could the ghostly face that the police officer saw in the window of this burnt out old house be that of the infamous Del Rey Witch? No, I don't think so. I think it was just a person. It looks a weird on camera because it's really bad quality, as usual. Because I, I already mentioned this in a previous episode with the creatures, right? Which I just found out it, they call crypt, cryptids, I think. Yeah, I think it's cryptids. Someone told me in the comments, which uh, thank you, by the way. With these weird creatures. And there was always like really bad quality um, footage. Like, I don't understand how these people record this kind of stuff. And uh, this one is no exception. Maybe it was just bad quality and it looks like it's a ghoulish face, but in reality it's just a person who maybe lives there or something. All right, let's see. Girl in red dress. In 2015, okay. a CCTV camera in a Taiwanese alleyway captured this unnerving and creepy footage. As the heavy rain pours down, a man can be seen walking down the alleyway towards his parked motorbike. Just as the man reaches his bike, a young girl in a red dress mysteriously appears alongside the parked van at the opposite end of the alleyway. As the footage continues, a motorbike can be seen riding past in the background. If you take a closer look as the bike passes, however, you can see the wheels of the bike through the little girl's head. What makes this video even creepier is the fact that in Taiwan, there's an urban legend known as the Girl in Red. 
a ghost of a young girl dressed in a red dress that stalks and haunts her victims. Nah, I don't think so. This is just bullshit. Again, really bad quality footage. You can't see anything. All you see is someone in red there, but it might be edited or maybe some kid who who's playing a prank or something like that. This video was filmed. All right. Mysterious hospital ghost. All right. Let's see. This is number two. In guys. a hospital in Guadalajara, Mexico. It shows an orderly laughing and joking around for the camera when suddenly a mysterious dark figure walks by the window. What's weird about that? It's just maybe some person walking down the hospital, right? It is the hospital. It's full of people there. As the person holding the camera rushes to investigate, the two open the door and head into what appears to be an operating theater. Suddenly, a table begins to move for no apparent reason. The startled pair quickly leave the room and as they do, the camera holder does a full 360 degree sweep of the room. The do you, again, why is this so bad? Like, why is so bad quality for this video, guys? I don't understand. What kind of phones this, these people have? We can take fucking pictures of the moon in super high quality resolution, but we can't take a decent video of a ghost or whatever is going on here. Man, it, it bothers me so much. There's no one else in the room and no other door that the mysterious figure could have entered or exited from. What was this shadowy figure? Could it have been the ghost of someone that passed away in this very operating room? Or maybe just a stupid prank that the, these doctors or nurses, whatever they are, they put together. In 2015, a floating city, in the city appeared in the clouds above Foshan in the Guangdong province of China. It was. Whoa, wait, whoa, what happened here? Weeping city appeared in the. In 2015. Oh. Why there's a city? A floating city appeared in the clouds above Foshan in the Guangdong province of China. It was witnessed by thousands of people and footage of the mysterious city in the clouds even made the Chinese news. Many theories tried to explain the strange city in the sky. Some said it was part of- Maybe it's just clouds that have a weird shape. I mean, it looks like a city with tall buildings and stuff, but of a top secret NASA funded project known as Project Bluebeam, technology that can reportedly project large scale holograms into the clouds. Others speculated that it could have been a doorway to an alternate reality that opened for just long enough to allow stunned onlookers to get a glimpse of another world. It wasn't the first time a city in the clouds has been spotted either. In 2011, this footage was taken in Huangsheng City in China's Anhui province. What do you think these mysterious cities could be? Are they an optical illusion, government testing, or a gateway to another world? Wait, but this one doesn't look like a city in the cloud. It looks like a normal city, but there's some fog. Okay, this one is, but the other one, this one looks a bit weird. But again, it might be clouds with a weird shape, maybe? Mysterious cities could be. Are they an optical illusion, government? Hmm, I don't know. This is another weird one, but man, I, uh, I'm i not sure what I'm watching here. Testing or a gateway to another no, this one definitely is not. You can see the tree here, right? There's a tree here. There's no clouds. You, it can't be clouds at the level of a tree, okay? This is just a city, and this is fog, and uh, this is the normal city, regular city, and this is just the fog, because you can see the tree here. That's it. But the other one, it's a bit more uh, Another world. convincing. Let us know in the comment section below. All right, guys. So this was a uh, quite interesting video here. Um, I mean... We managed somehow to explain some of these videos, for sure. Some of the explanation I give, they're the real one. Very good video, I like this one. Maybe I should look a, a little bit to more of these videos from the Slapped Ham. Looks like they have like a, a quite good videos here that are kind of hard to explain. No, I mean, not all of them. Most of them I managed to explain. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, am I right off, uh, what I, with what I said here in, with the explanations? Or... Am I wrong? Maybe you have another explanation? Just let me know in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe. If you want to become members of my channel, just press the join button. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.